Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Nicholas Parker, I'm a part time reseller on eBay, Poshmark and Mercari. In today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the ThreadUp 15 pound denim rescue box. If you guys haven't ever um, got these boxes and you want to see if it's worth it, uh, make sure you stay tuned. also recently got a mixed clothing ThreadUp box so I'm going to put a little card to that here. Be sure you guys go check that out. Also, this video is in collaborations with Becky Park on Poshmark. Um, she also ordered the ThreadUp Rescue denim box and she got the bigger box. So once you guys are done watching this video, the link to her video is in the description and you guys can go check out what she got. So thank you, Becky. And without further ado, let's get into the haul. All right, so I ordered this about three weeks ago. It came about a week ago, so it only took two hours to ship. Uh, two hours, two weeks to ship. And this one came from Arizona. Um, I know they have multiple locations and sometimes different locations have better boxes. I don't know, people have that theory, but this one did come from their Arizona, which is weird because I live in Pennsylvania and they do have a Pennsylvania um, thread up location, but I did cut it open already just so I didn't have to use the knife in the video. But yeah, so I got the 15 pound box and it was only $20 and free shipping. So I figured I would just try it out. I've always wanted to try a box up. All right, so the first thing that we have are Gap Kids size 14 camo um, shorts. Are these shorts or capris or maybe they're jeans? I don't know, they have a really wide leg. Um, I might not sell these, I'm not sure, but they look like they're in good condition. The next thing that I got is this Zara Basic Denim size 10. Um, just these like cream tan pants. Uh, I don't see any snags or anything like that. So as long as there's no stains, I will definitely post these. But they seem to be in great condition. So that's a plus. Okay. There is a tiny little mark. Where did it go? There's a few like tiny little marks. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but I'm gonna wash these and see if they come out. So that will go in the cell pile. The next thing that I got are these American Eagle Outfitters, size 14, straight, um, super stretch, kick boot jeans. Um, I always pick up American Eagle jeans. Is that a stain? No, okay. Uh, yeah, these are in good condition, so these will definitely go in my cell pal. Um, normally I stay away from the boot cut, um, but I mean, hopefully they'll still sell. These look like maternity jeans. Um, they're seven for all mankind, and they're size 29. Um, I, okay, so there's, a pool right there so I'll disclose that I'll probably still post these other than that they're in good condition so I will post those but I'll definitely leave a note um, these are a pair of gap denim these are a size 14 uh, petite and they're just a pair of black denim jeans I will post these as long as there's no wear they need lint rolled, obviously. I thought that was a stain there, but there isn't. Um, they seem to be a little stretched out, but not bad at all. The next thing that I got were these Gap Kids size seven uh, jeans. I don't do kids, um, so I probably won't sell these, but these are just a basic pair of denim. They seem to be a little distressed at the bottom. I don't know if that was on purpose. Um, but I probably won't be posting them. And I got a pair of the children's place jeans. Again, I don't do kids, so I won't be posting those. Next thing that I got are Arizona jeans, size five, just a jigging. Um, these seem to be in okay condition. There's a little stain right there. They just need washed though. Um, so yeah, um, I don't pick this brand up. Uh, I'll see if it's worth it to sell it. It probably won't be, but who knows. Next thing that I got are Madewell size 29. 
nine inch high rise skinny black denim jeans. I'm happy about these as of now. Uh, they have little cuts in the knees, super cute. Um, what is that? That's not a flaw. Uh, so they are a little stretched out right there, if you can see that, but I'll just close that. And yeah, these are a good pair of jeans with a little distressed hem. I like it. The next pair that I got are a pair of jean shorts. Um, I swear I've seen this brand before. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm going crazy. I don't know, but they have like little cute beads on the back and these are a size 11. I'll definitely look these up and see if they're worth anything. Um, they're really light. So again, I did get the 15 pound box next thing that I got are a pair of gap uh, denim jean shorts uh, These are cute. Um, I'll probably sell them The next thing that I got are by a brand. I Don't even know what this says But they're size 11 never heard of this definitely gonna look it up. I don't think they're worth anything um, I don't see any flaws though, but I'll definitely look it up to see if it's worth anything these are a pair of Justice, size 14. Again, I don't pick up kids, but since these have flowers on them, I'll probably sell them because I think that these are actually really cute. The next thing that I got are a pair of Banana Republic Petite, size 26 or dash two petite. I'm um, just a basic pair of jeans. They don't seem to have any wear on them, so that's good. I'll definitely post these ones. Petite is hard to sell for me personally, so I don't stay away from it, but I am more selective when it comes to petite. The next pair of jeans that we have are these garage size 10, uh, very distressed, holy holes. Um, these might be a little too distressed. I don't know, I'm gonna look into it. I don't really know what this brand is, but like I said, I'll research it and we'll see. Next pair are Maurice is there uh a high rise size 16 so a bigger size and they're just a basic pair of denim i don't normally pick this brand up but since i got it i will sell it and the very last pair of jeans that we have are nyd fit is everything um straight leg size 12 just a pair of jeggings these are very long um but that's what the tag looks like. And these are in good condition too. I'm gonna look these up and run comps and see if it's worth it. So that's it for my denim haul. Would I recommend it? This box wasn't great, it wasn't horrible. There are only two jeans that I'm like super excited about really are the Madewell and the Zara. And those both had minor flaws to them. But for $20, I'll be able to make my money back. And I would buy this again only if it was $20 and free shipping. It's definitely worth a try. It's fun. It's fresh. And it's a new thing. And it's a good way to source right now. But that's everything that I have for you today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. And let me know what you think in the comments. Have you tried these thread out boxes before? And leave what your reviews of them have been in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.